Hi, this is Jason from Clipfolio. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create and customize the funnel component. I will also show you how to group labels, filter data, and use a layout grid to organize multiple components. Here's the clip we're looking to build. It shows a sales pipeline at the varying stages of the sales process, from initial contact to qualifying the lead, submitting a proposal, and finally closing with a win. We want to show how many of our leads are in each stage of the process. On the right, we've filtered out data a little bit differently to show which countries most of our leads are coming from. So to build this clip, we're going to start by choosing Add a Clip, then Build a Custom Clip, and we're going to go with the Funnel Component, and this time we're going to create a new data source. If you want to try building this funnel yourself, please follow the link in the description to download the Excel file used in this video. You can then add it as a data source to your clip. So once we click Upload, you'll see that it asks you to verify it's the data you want. And then you just have to hit Continue and Save. So the first thing we're going to do is select the value. We're going to select column E, Contract Value. And then we're going to change the label and we're going to choose column B, Stage. Now, as you can see, we have many different labels showing, but we only want each stage to show once. So we're going to go to Properties and click Group Repeating Labels. And then we're going to click on Filter to remove the header row, Stage. So we'll deselect all the others, select Stage and Exclude. So by default, the aggregation method is going to be sum, and this is actually not what we're looking for. We want to see the number of leads in each stage. So we're going to go to properties, change the format to number, and then we're going to change the aggregation method to count. I would normally change the sorting also, but it seems like it's sorted the way we want it. So our first funnel is done. To create our second funnel, we're going to simply duplicate the first for simplicity. So we're going to go up to Funnel Chart, choose Copy, and then we're going to go to our clip and choose Paste. Now this funnel chart is going to show our top five countries that our leads are coming from. Um, we're going to start by renaming each component. So this one's going to be called Top 5 Countries. And our first one is going to be called Leads by Stage. And then the main thing that we have to change is our label. Instead of using Stage as our label, we're going to change that to the Country column. So we go to data and we're going to select column C, country. Now we're going to click on properties and we're going to edit the filter to make sure that sales region, which is our header row, is excluded. And now we have a list of countries. But since we're only looking for the top five, we're going to click on values. We're going to add a filter select top bottom and change the number to five. And there we go. Now in the initial dashboard I showed you, the funnel on the left had slightly different coloring. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We'll click on override the default colors. And I'm gonna go from a dark red to an increasingly lighter red until the lead gets to a win, and we're going to make that one yellow. And the other main difference um, with the clip that I showed you at the beginning was they were side by side. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag in a layout grid. We're going to add a couple labels at the top. 
And then we're going to drag the country funnel to the right side. And we're going to drag the stage funnel to the left side. Now we're going to use a separator just to clean things up a little. We'll make that a vertical oriented separator. And then we're going to change the cell width to be a lot smaller. And then finally, we'll just have to change our labels to reflect the appropriate chart. Now, don't worry that they don't look exactly the same as I showed you at the beginning of the demo. They do kind of appear a little bit uh, horizontally crushed, but um, the clips will automatically resize uh, to fill the space. We'll just make our titles a little bit bigger. And then finally, we'll just give our clip a title, sales funnel breakdown. And we'll change the size of that as well. And there we go. Now we can save our clip. We can choose finished. And as I mentioned, it will resize to fit within your dashboard. And it looks exactly the same as the clip I showed you at the beginning of this video. And that ends our quick demo on how to use the funnel component. You can find more videos like this, as well as our knowledge base and community forums at support.clipfolio.com.